we're going to learn how to use the chromatic with the FFT. So here we have the chromatic. We see that this person has very high points here. If we click here in this uh, in the cell of uh, 4G, we will see where the, these uh, frequencies were mentioned. Uh, we unclick it. We click it again and the whole thing goes. We can actually see these two where they are. They were here. The one is here. The other one is there. So uh, we can unclick them. And uh, let's click, um, let's see what happens in the um, colorgram. And we have here a frequency, which is 205. Uh, and uh, and uh, we we'll see in the FFT, let's zoom in more. And yeah, we see here too, it's 205. Okay, you have it here. So then um, we can actually see where which is G sharp we can see in the chromatic where this G sharp was mentioned so if we pick up one of these pieces that seems to be has more of that frequency like this we drag the cursor there we do the uh, magnifying glass and we uh, we click this again so then that's those are the frequencies where those frequencies were mentioned so we can actually, one more, so we have to actually, oh, because it only was with that, okay. We have to get the whole entire thing, so then we can click on play. So that was, ooh, the vowel of ooh. We can see what, what was the word mentioned, so we can actually click here and take out the whole, just see what, is, what the person was mentioning, and let's hear it. Una... Okay, so here we have that, what was the word? So um, we see here this 22, where they're all in here. All those G sharps are all in here. And that was exactly a U. And here, let's see where what that was. That was an A. Okay, so we, we can see what this different vowel sounds do in the FFT. Okay, so here we have that's 205 with the vowel of U. Let's see what what is what is uh, the A. Let's see this was A. It's a little different. It's uh, 28. So let's process the whole entire wave file from the beginning. We go back and we process it. So we will uh, see the harmonics of this one and uh, we see that here it doesn't catch the peak and here it does, but here it does, does too. So because there's several, each of these uh, peaks are several frequencies. So let's see what this uh, frequency is in the database. Uh, this person has a uh, tendency or probable fibromyalgia. So we see that that's vitamin B6, which is good for her. So actually she has this, uh, while she has this uh, frequency, she's having, she's having fibromyalgia under control. So let's see other frequencies that this person could have. Let's go back to the chromatic and let's um, check what um, this uh, frequency, the highest frequency is G. And we see that in this area there's lots, so then let's uh, pick up that area. And um, let's uh, click here and let's hear what is the sound of, uh, of that frequency. So that's an A, it's an E, it's, a, it's, it's A in Spanish is E. So this, uh, let's look at it in the FFT. So we see the frequency is different, it's 198. Yeah, and that one has a very good harmonic cascades as you see. So let's look at another, mm, let's see what um, another feature. The whole entire chromatic, we have to go back and make the whole entire chromatic read again. So we can actually watch it coming up the colorgram and we can actually watch the FFT moving as well. The lower ones, okay, so we have here the 205, 
which is in the FFT. This one, 205. Okay, so let's see what this one is about. Let's, let's zoom into it so that we can really get it better. Okay, we zoom out and then uh, we see what it is in the database and uh, let's put muscles because it's not uh, there's nothing for fibromyalgia so we're going to she has all these muscle pains that's why it's so close to getting fibromyalgia so here we select effect and here we have magnesium phosphate mm -hmm. we're going to make it smaller the percentage magnesium phosphate uh, uh, which is something she needs. So the whole thing is that some of you this uh, compared to the other one. Oh, let's see whether magnesium phosphate is really in her voice, which would be close to here, which is not appearing here. 263. And there, you see, it, that's where it's in her voice, and this is the lowest peak in her FFT. Here we have um, this high note, and let's see, this one is uh, small, and here actually, what do we have here too? In the, in the chromatic, we have magnesium phosphate. Let's see. Yeah, so it coincides with both. C is where the magnesium phosphate would be. We can pick up this little piece and listen to it. Uh, we zoom into it. Then, of course, we have to check this. And we hear what it says. It's talking about familiar. What is her... Uh, oh, wait, let's see, let's see what, what the whole phrase is. We hear it. Familiar? Yeah, it's he's talking about familiar, so that is her family, uh, inheritance of the family, and that is probably the problem she's having, and with the family. So that's uh, of her high note, which is F sharp, and it's of course the inverse of magnesium phosphate. As you see, 131.75 would be uh, uh, 263 which is exactly magnesium phosphate. So this way, with words, we see the meaning and we can see when we give ourselves the missing note.